Hello, and welcome to the first of a multi-part series about running a scalable customer contact form on AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Imagine you're launching a new product. You have lots of customers who want to know when your product is ready. A Contact Me form powered by Elastic Beanstalk, Amazon DynamoDB, and Amazon Simple Notification Service makes it easy to handle hundreds of thousands of customer requests for a short period of time. The sample application behind this customer contact form is written in Python, uses the Flask framework, and is made pretty with Bootstrap. By the end of this video, you'll have a functional, pretty sign-up form running just like this. Let's run the app. Download the source from GitHub. You can browse the source later. For now, download a prepackaged zip by clicking Releases and choosing v1.0.0. Sign in to the AWS Management Console, and in the Elastic Beanstalk Console, click Create New Application. Give your application a name, an optional description, this is a Python application. I would like it to be load balanced and auto scaled, though you can choose to run a single instance. Choose the file you just downloaded, give your environment a unique name, and skip the additional resources section. Notice quickly the instance profile option. An instance profile grants our application permissions to access other resources in our AWS account. In our case, the application puts contact information into DynamoDB and publishes messages to the Simple Notification Service. The profile needs access to do those things. Let's take a brief detour to the Identity and Access Management Console to grant those permissions. In the IAM Console, navigate to the Roles section. You may have existing roles. For my Elastic Beanstalk application, I chose the default AWS Elastic Beanstalk EC2 role. Find that role, click Attach Role Policy. In the GitHub repository, the sample application has a sample policy that outlines the required permissions. Select and copy that content. Choose custom policy and paste the value. Notice this policy is only granting access to DynamoDB put item and SNS publish APIs. Click apply policy and go back to the Elastic Beanstalk console. In the Elastic Beanstalk console, click continue, verify settings, and click create. The application takes a minute or so to launch, and the status changes to green. I can click the link to view the application. In part two of this series, you will use the app to capture customer contact information, receive notification when that information is submitted, and view the submitted data in DynamoDB. Thank you, and look forward to seeing you in part two of this series.